Hey, good morning, guys. Tush coming at you. I think it's uh, Saturday, September the 6th. Could be wrong. Uh, back out in the garage today, and a little bit more progress to report. I did manage to get this other uh, stripe uh, started at the front of the car, so I can install this um, this capping piece. So, uh, yeah, that's looking good. Um, we still need to paint the, uh, the vent flap. We've got to get some more paint to do that. Um, of course, we ran out of paint. So, uh, that will be the last thing to be painted on the car. Um, anyway, we're going to continue on with uh, the capping uh, this morning, and we're going to actually fit this capping rail with the uh, the studs that go in here for the tonneau cover. Uh, we're also going to do some work on the dash. I just have this dash in loosely. There's some uh, some screws and there's some uh, nuts and bolts that need to be tightened up under the dash. So we're going to do that before we get too much further. Um, before the gauges are completely in. I have the speedometer and the tack in just loosely right now. So uh, I want to be able to get some uh, clearance up there with my hands. So I'll pull those gauges out to be able to do that. And we'll also be able to pull the center cluster out uh, before we actually fasten that in there with the four wing nuts that go on the back of that. So I'm not sure if you can see this. Uh, you know, the screen looks pretty dark on the camera. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. We'll play around with that capping a little bit and then we'll probably move on to a, another project a little bit later on. I am thinking about uh, trying to wet sand these rims actually. I've been doing a little bit of research online and uh, I was going to try to polish these uh, aluminum uh, rims, at least the outsides obviously. The insides are going to be painted flat black to match the uh, stripe on the car. That's the plan anyway, so I thought I might just do an experiment and do some uh, wet sanding and see how well we can get these to come up. Alright guys, that's it for now. We'll talk to you later. Okay guys, the, uh, the capping's done and uh, all the studs are in so that looks good another little job down uh, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump to the rear of the car and I'm finally going to put the uh, install the uh, covers on the back here I have the foams that I have to glue on the arches first these are from Macy's garage if anybody's interested so Macy's apparently has the correct thickness of foam to go on the wheel arches I'm not sure what the other vendors sell but uh, I guess Macy's claims that uh, their foams are too thick, so apparently these are the correct thickness foams for the wheel arches. Like, it doesn't really matter to me, but anyway. Um, so we've got that to do first, and then we've got the wheel arch covers to do. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to take these seats out, and uh, we're just going to lay them on the other side of the garage. I'm going to be using spray adhesive, and uh, in my past experience with spray adhesives, it tends to go in places you don't want it to go. So uh, always have some adhesive remover handy. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to get these covers on, and then we'll probably move on to the back. Uh, you know, to get the uh, all the cappings done in the rear and on the sides. We'll we'll see as far as we can get today. All right, guys, we'll talk to you in a bit. Hey guys, Tosh coming at you. It's uh, just six o'clock, coming up to six o'clock, just about uh, dinner time. And uh, just a quick update, so uh, we pretty much got the rear interior of the car in now. So it looks not too bad. It's a used interior from the parts car. So there's a little, few little blemishes here and there, but it cleaned up not too badly. So the wheel arch covers are now glued in. They look okay. And the, uh, the only thing I need to do is fix this back piece down the bottom. There's actually a couple clips that I've got to find to bring the bottom of that panel in. So I've also got the uh, the hood sticks on for the uh, convertible top. So and all the paneling in all along the sides, all the capping along the back, all the capping along the sides looks good. And just wander around the other side. So yeah, it's coming together. So we'll move on to the next project. I think we'll, uh, I stuck the little uh, vent pole on here, and I showed you the capping already. Maybe I'll stick the mirror on just for fun. I've got the mirror out, out in the garage, so maybe I'll just stick the mirror on just to get it out of the way. One more part out of the bin. That's it for now, guys. Uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do next after dinner. Talk to you hey later. Guys, just coming up to 7 o'clock, and the mirror is now on the car. It's another piece out of the bin and on the car. So this is the original uh, style for this car. It came on my parts car and it's correct for the car with the uh, plastic rim. The earlier cars had a smaller mirror and no rim on it. I quite like this uh, mirror. I don't know how functional it'll be. It's quite a bit smaller than the uh, than the other mirror, but I just kind of like the simplicity of it. But uh, anyway, when with the correct mirror, we can always swap it out. It's the same uh, base basically. So. Uh, 
anyway another thing done can be checked off so uh, we'll move on to the next thing